Hello guys, 2017 Chevy Impala and we will be changing spark plugs on this car. It's at 100,000 Ks, so it's just about perfect time to do the spark plug change. So for that we will remove those 1, 2, 3, T30 bolts that hold the engine cover on. Next you will want to pull those bolts out. And remove the cover that we might need to get the oil plug out. Put oil plug back so no dust gets in. Next, what we will do, we will disconnect those wires from the ignition coil. So pull the red plugs back and press and pull back the wires. So while you do the spark plugs, you want to check for any potential leak on the valve cover. So it's super dry here. So next we will remove four ignition coils. Those are probably 10 mil bolts. So just use a socket and a small impact. Get the bolts out so you don't lose them. Next, when you pull the coils out, check for any signs of oil. There is nothing all good. And make sure that you just put them in the same order as you remove them. So we'll just tag them like that. Before we start getting the plugs out, we will just use some compressed air to blow any possible dust inside. Because if you don't and you get the plug out, it will fall into your cylinder. You don't want that. So this should be good now. Next, what we will do, we will use a socket, uh, spark plug socket, and ratchet to get the sparks out. Alright, so for the socket, you will use 5 8 uh, socket, spark plug socket. The only difference from regular, it has like a rubber boot inside, so when the spark, uh, spark plug goes in, it stays there. The part number, I'm using uh, NGK Ruthenium. Uh, the best on the market last at least 100,000 case. The part number is LTR5AHX and the bottom number 90202. Sorry, 90220. So we will get them out. So when you Replace the spark plugs, make sure that your engine is not hot, uh, it's okay if it's warm, but you don't want it to be super hot, because usually if you put the spark plug in a hot engine, it might be difficult to remove them second time if you need, and it seems like those are original AC Delco. And to be quite honest, the spark plug is not in as good shape as I would expect. Even though it's just 100,000 case, but they are quite dark. I just replaced another vehicle with uh, 90,000 and they looked almost like new. Not the case here. So those spark plugs, they do not have a washer. So with the washer, you would usually go all the way in until it starts touching the head and then do half a turn. Uh, in this case, it's like 1 16th of a turn. So there won't be too much room. Uh, but you also don't want to get it over tight. So we will start, we will start without the uh, ratchet. Just with hands, make sure that it's not cross-threaded, so we'll go all the way in with your hand. So now when it starts to get tight, 
so this is point of contact so now we do like 116 of a turn and that's it and now we move, move to the next one same thing so the spark plugs it really depends on, on the type this cheapest one they would last roughly 50,000 Ks those expensive one can go up to 150,000 Ks uh, but I would not recommend to go over 100,000 so you can see this one is not terrible but not as good too so let me do other three and we'll put it back together all right so now when all the sparks are put back in now we can get the coils back in one thing that I would like to do uh, since we are basically putting this and it should stay like that for another hundred thousand case what probably is at least five years just put some um, grease uh, what is uh, electrical grease um, so dielectric grease I should say uh, so basically it lubricates the surfaces they don't stick together but at the same time it's not conducting any electricity so this is dielectric electrical dielectric grease so we'll just put a little bit on each one when that boot gets stuck it's can be a mess to get it out so it's nice and there is a little bit of lubricant you don't want to use the regular grease since it's a conductor so you can mess up your ignition system if you use the regular grease so now we'll just put the coils bolts back still need to get them tight though not too tight just like that should be enough. Get the wires in back and make sure that you push this plug back, red plug. And when you hear a click, you know that you're at the right place. If you don't hear a click, you probably won't be able to push the red tab in. But even if you did, it will let you know if one spark is not spark plug is not working correctly so we will put this back get all the engine cover bolts back in as a reminder those were T30 100,000 case. Thanks for watching and do it yourself guys.